Hey gang, Rob and Dalton there. There's Dalton in the background. We are on the, uh, let me switch this over, show you where we're at. We are on the front grounds. I can't raise this too much because I don't want to show you the school name, but we are on an old school um, that was built in either 25 or 29. I can't remember, but this is pretty old ground here. Um, been here about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, today is Wednesday, June 26th. Our heat index today is supposed to be 104. Denise got in a, a weather alert from AAA that says this is going to be the hottest day of the year. Uh, it's already like 9.30, quarter to 10 in the morning, and it's approaching 90. We're just sweating our butts off. We weren't going to film here today. This is our first location of two we're going to, unless we found anything. And guys, I've gotten four pieces of aluminum can, but I keep digging my 1213s, hoping to find something. And out of this hole right here, gang, we got... A Jefferson that I said by the back looked fairly old and boom 1941 Jefferson just missed silver by a year but our first old coin out of this 25 or 29 school all right okay gang I got sweat rolling down into my glasses it is hotter than Hades here but of course mr. Dalton calls our first weedy of the day absolutely no surprise for me there but I did get first old coin but He's got a weedy. Give me a good date. 1919. Are you freaking serious? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, that predates the school. Mr. Dalton had a 21 map. The school was not on it. So, oh my God, look how clean that is. And it's actually not an S. No. But it is cleaner than my last 19. It's got nice wheat lines on it too. That's a nice penny. Nice job, buddy. Start the day off with a 100-year coin. Boom. Okay, gang, there's the original picture of the school. From 1916, they started building it. Okay. Alrighty, good people. I'm still doing this one-third of the front. Dalton did some of the center, but he's moved on. He thinks there's older ground over where he's at, where he got his 1919 weedy. He said it was a 23-24 signal, which is a weedy signal for us. I just got the same signal here, my first one of the day, and I got a taco penny. It is folded over. It's been hit by the mower, but it is uh, it's a memorial. All right, onward. All righty, good people. Mr. Dalton's still staying in the same area where he's gotten his uh, 1919 weedy, and he just gave me the signal for silver. So, oh, ho, ho. Oh my god, what is that? Is that a barber? No, it's a Merc. I don't have the foo. <laughs> Looks like an early one. Just put your finger right there across the date real quick. It's a 191 something. Oh my gosh. And again, that was like a 16 or 18 or something like that. What, what year is the first year? 16? If it's a 16D, I'm... You're a rich man. Yeah. Oh, I hold the hold the camera thing. I think it's 15. What, when did they start, Marks? I thought it was 16. Or was it 14? Um, I'm not 100. percent Twenty-five. Nice. Yeah, this baby's worn. It got used some before it got dropped. Looks like no mint marks. Or is it an S? I think that's an S. S or a D. All right, looks like we'll clean it up at the car, guys. We left the food with the car. All right. Boom, first silver. Yeah. Hey, gang, Rob here. We have moved on to this church property that I went up and door knocked it at the administration office and got a hold of one of the administrators and asked him if me and Dalton could do this nice shady area where they use like as a break area. There's old houses all around here, so we figured this might be some old ground that my house might have been on or kids might have played on years ago. So he said, sure, go ahead. Find something really valuable. Come over and split it with us. And I said, absolutely. My first signal, 13, 12, 13 after ground balancing, 1970 nickel. Not super old, but it's a good sign that there's uh, been people here and there's coins here. Hi. Hi. We had to uh, We had to leave the school. Do what? All right, good people. You see the couple sitting on their front porch right there doing some yard work. They came over and both of them talked to us. I guess her young son got a metal detector and him and a buddy came over here and did this, but they probably had kid models. 
uh, so that didn't deter us. We've gotten quite a few modern coins. Her husband used to pan for gold, so he asked us a lot of questions about the Equinoxes. Nice couple. Um, so anyway, there's some kind of old foundation, so we figured we're right. There's probably some old house here, and I just got a Weedy Signal Gang and just got rewarded with a nice green coin. Cleaned off the back, saw the Weedy symbol, and put the glasses on. 1948. So we got our first old coin off this second, uh, second permission we're at here. All right. Alrighty, folks, my machine's way over there by that guy's white fence. Mr. Dalton said he's calling it silver over here. But look, tap that root. Look how big that root is. Tap that. Okay, it's directly below that. And we saw, we got a glimpse of a coin, and we think it might be silver. Straight down. I tried grabbing it. And it okay, we're going to see it the same as you guys. Silver. Merc. Boom! Boom! Got foo? It's in the trunk. Let's right. go get it. Carry it over. All right, we're here at the trunk of the car where we kept the toothbrush and the foo. Is that your? Yep. That's my original. When it works, it just doesn't stand up. Okay, maybe it doesn't work real good. Just leak some water on it. Oh, that's that looks old. Twenty one. Thirty one. Thirty one. Okay, I thought I said twenty one. That's right in the depression right there. Thirty one gang. Mr. Dalton's got two mercs today. Boom. All right, good people. This isn't going to be much of a wrap up because, well, I had a pathetic day. That's all my clad from the entire day, including my taco penny. It's been hit by the mower. Um, my finds, a 1948 Weedy and a 1941 Jefferson. That's it for coins for me. Um, I did get this cool 1800s bottle that I think I sliced right down the neck, but I'm pretty sure that that top right there is a late 1800s or early 1900s, but I think it's late 1800s bottle. That's all that's left of it, but that was off the second location. Um... You didn't even see the third location. We went to a park on the Gulf that had a hotel there built in 1917 that was converted to an orphanage. Um, but apparently those poor orphan kids didn't have any money because this was the only thing we recovered from the entire site. And Mr. Dalton found this, and we have no idea what it is, folks. It's made out of copper. You flip it around to the back. It's got a couple little spots for what might have been hinges here. I don't know if that's an old picture frame or some discussion to something, but... Anybody has any ideas, please let us know. He also got an old plate piece and an old piece of pottery off that 1917 property. Uh, and his three coins for the day, a 100-year-old 1919 Weedy. Oh, this light right here gives us really nice. And then his two Mercs for the day, 1931. We were determined if it had a mint mark? No, they don't have mint marks. And a 1925. Both of them are pretty worn, guys, but Mr. Dalton gets two mercs on one day. I've only done that twice, and he does it today. That is it, good people. We will see you next time. Hey, gang. Rob here. Yeah, I know I look like a slob. My shirt's completely soaked through. I got my cool, damp neck thing on. And, guys, there's my 1925 permission in the background that I've done twice, once with Dalton, once by myself. Right there in the middle of that side yard. This is where I got my 1909 Weedy. I got my skeleton key lock back here, my Max Factor Rouge case. Dalton got a Weedy over there, and I got a 38 Weedy by where those guys are doing the new sidewalk. I didn't even bring the uh, camera out, gang, because me and Dalton have pounded this. Well, they've cut some trees down. That one's gone, and they've opened this up quite a bit since the last time we've been here, so I just got a real bouncy 23 signal, guys. I haven't even touched that. That's the way it flipped out. When I flip my shovel open, that is really green. And do I even have my glasses? Yes, I do. So we're gonna see what this is together, gang. It's probably it's probably a yeah, it's a uh, it's a Lincoln. I would have been way too excited if that was a a uh, Indian. All right, hold on. I think it's a 
I've still got the camera in selfie mode, so I can't see what I'm filming. Okay, let's look at the date. The front's going to clean up easier. Oh, well, that's disappointing, guys. A 50... 1950 even. I thought that was going to be really old. But hey, another weedy off this property. Okay, gang. I've been ready to leave for a long time now. I keep sticking it out. Waiting for this construction crew to leave so I can uh, check the curb strips that they've dug up all the curbs. I don't want to do it while the construction crew is still here. And I keep waiting and waiting. And they keep hanging around, so I keep digging. And I just keep getting junk and junk and junk. I mean, I'm completely... I got sweat dripping off my hat. That's how sweaty I am. Uh... I didn't know I could get hotter than yesterday. But gang, right there, I got a really bouncy deep signal. And uh, I was like, I hope it's not a memorial. I've dug like four memorials today. And I really can't see the back that good. But I was able to clean the front enough. 1941 gang. This is an area Dalton hit hard. So I'm impressed I even found anything. The guy's a, a hoover when it comes to finding coins. So 41, another weedy off this 25 property. I'm happy. Can't tell it because I'm really tired. I'm dripping sweat on my phone. Okay. Okay, good people. I'm zooming in on the pool thermometer. Oh, it just went down to 99. It was 100 degrees when I picked up the phone. So at 4 o'clock, it's almost 100 degrees. It was just 100 a second ago. That, and that's in the shade. All right, 